All right, this is Ryan. Welcome back to my Illustrator Basics course. This is uh, lesson 8.1, using templates. And templates are pretty cool in Adobe Illustrator. They will allow you to open a preset size artboard with art already laid into place wherever you need it. So I'm going to show you a few examples. These are the default examples how you can get to a new template or opening templates is you go file down to new from template it also has a shortcut key shift command n on a mac shift control n on a pc and by default you will go to your templates folder yours might not look like this i have pulled over some of my previous um, templates from uh, Creative Suite 6 and beyond uh, before that. So uh, yours might only have this blank templates folder in it. And I'm going to open that and show you some of the options in here. There is a t-shirt template. There's business cards, CDs, all sorts of fun stuff in here. For example, uh, boxes. And I'll show you that. Let's open that one right now. So here we see the uh, different artboards on the boxes and, and uh, template. So you can see some things. Let's select everything and give it a nice big stroke so we can see what's going on here. So we've got some registration lines, we've got fold lines, we've got uh, boundaries and things where uh, the box is going to be cut out. So you can use that. Uh, go over to the next, excuse me, let's bring up my little navigation thing. So the next artboard has a different size and style of box as does the third. So Let's go all the way back to the beginning. And uh, what is it? Command option zero will fit all the artboards within the window. Um, then what you can do is look at your um, layers and you can see that there are two layers in this template. There's a die line, which is where those need to be cut. And it has all of the paths and then there is a blank background layer. So the uh, intention is for you to uh, do your artwork, the design on this back layer, and then you can save it and use the die line for the printer to cut out that box. Okay, so that is how to uh, use a template. Uh, for example, uh, with these boxes, and then once you have it opened, uh, all you need to do is make sure, as you can see, it is unsaved. So we will just save that as, you know, whatever image that we want or whatever file that we want. And we'll put that wherever uh, we feel it needs to go. So right now, don't worry about um, that too much. That, that's just how templates work. Some of the things that are included in templates are uh, guides. This one does not have any guides. As you can see, I'm doing command and semicolon so that I can turn on the guides and off, but they're not there. The grid doesn't have anything special um, in it, so uh, I'll turn those both off. However, there are, you can use uh, templates for that will have guides preset in them. And you can have, uh, like I said, any artwork, any number of artboards, and create your um, or create your file from a template. So another template example, again, Command Shift N on a Mac, Control Shift N on a PC. Um, go into the whoops. I didn't mean the Japanese templates here. I meant the blank templates. So let's go with, uh, say, CD print items. And you can see here you've got the, uh, let's go to the first. This would be the CD insert or the case probably. 
Now this will be the folded uh, thing if you want to slide a CD within a folded uh, piece of paper or cardstock. This is the CD label itself. Whatever is screen printed or designed to go on that label. And this looks like uh, the back insert in a case, a CD case. So you have, as I, as I said, uh, whoops, forgot the, there we go. Uh, you have these pieces of artwork already on the uh, template. You can have whatever layers, whatever colors, any, anything that you need. Um, and then also as you come up to the swatches, you can see that it will hold the swatches that were designed with that artwork, if any. And as you can see, there are no uh, special swatches attached to this one. I'll show you one more just because it's part of a, the apparel design project that my students are doing in class. So command shift N. Oops, I wrote clicked accidentally there. Um, and that one I have put in a, whoops, not there. I put it in a different place so that I could have it for use uh, with this lesson. So as you can see in this one, I have uh, a set of colors, swatches already installed in this uh, artwork. I have four different layers. It'll retain the settings. This top layer and the bottom layer were locked. And so I, if I had this uh, design layer or any of these layers turned invisible, that would be retained within it. Um, I don't have this one set as a, a template, but I have in previous uh, times used a template you know, the uh, you double click on that and you turn it into a template so it locks it, hides, and or locks it and dims the image to 50%. So anyway, you can do that as well. Just beware if you are sharing templates with older uh, versions of Adobe Illustrator, it will, it may or may not be compatible with that older version. So when you open or when that person opens the template, you may or may not see it. Uh, see the artwork, you might get something that uh, tells you that it hasn't been saved properly or whatever. Just know that you need to get first the file needs to be saved as whatever version of Illustrator that is. So for example, uh, I could save this as a CS6 file and then from that point um, turn open it in Illustrator CS6 and turn that into save that as a template and how to do that we will go over in the very next lesson so stick around I hope you are enjoying these templates in uh, using Adobe Illustrator thank you